name is Joella. I'm with UMBC Rec. Thanks for joining me for some yoga today. We're going to do about a 15 minute practice. Um, so go ahead and grab your mat. Uh, that's all the only prop we'll need today. Um, please make sure that you're listening to your body. I will cue some modifications, but if at any point something doesn't feel right for you, please feel free to skip it or uh, just switch it up a little bit. Um, and please make sure you check with a healthcare provider before starting a new exercise routine. So today we're actually going to start standing. So just find a comfortable stance. You can be in the middle or at the top of your mat, whichever way you can see the camera or you're most comfortable. But let's start with our feet um, about hips distance apart. So everybody take a peek down at your feet and make sure that they're parallel to each other. So if you drew a line from your middle toe to the center of the back of your heel, those two lines would be parallel. Um, so just avoiding having your toes out or spinning in. So heels right behind your second toe, about hips distance apart, and that's under the bony structure of your hips. So your, um, I say your frontal hip points a lot while we practice. So that's these guys right here that stick out just about everybody. So right down from your hips. From there, we're gonna work our way uh, up our body, um, engaging our calves. So think of your calves lifting and pushing forward into your shins. And then up from there, lifting up on your kneecaps, your quadriceps, these large muscles at the front of your legs, lifting up towards your hips. And then your tailbone, your buttocks flesh, lengthening down towards your heels. From there, lifting your front hip points to your ribs, or even thinking of closing off your ribs a little bit. So you're not arching your back and opening them way up, but just sort of engaging them there. They're coming together. Broadening across your collarbone. Shoulders are just relaxed. Hands down by your side, chin parallel to the floor. And we're in Tadasana Mountain Pose. So we're gonna take a nice deep inhale through your nose. And exhale, sigh out your mouth. And again, nice deep inhale through your nose. And exhale, sigh out your mouth. Keeping that leg engagement here, nice deep inhale. And exhale, sigh it out. Getting to breathe just in and out your nose. And just notice how this feels in your body. So we're going to be standing up nice and tall so that our ear is right over our shoulder, our shoulder is right over our hip, hips right over top of our ankle. One long line. Continuing to breathe just in and out our nose. And we'll add a little bit of movement here. A nice deep inhale, arms reach out and up. And exhale, releasing your hands back down to your side. And again, inhale up. Keeping all the muscle engagement in the lower half of our bodies, just our arms moving, exhale it down. Moving with our breath, taking the full inhale to move our arms up. The full exhale to move our hands back down to our sides. Just one more time, inhale. Exhale. This time, inhaling your arms out and up, pausing with hands shoulder distance apart. I realize you can't see my hands on the video, but here, I'll kneel so you can see my hands. Um, hands are shoulder distance apart, palms facing together, pinky sides of your arms wrapping in, so your tricep is going to wrap in toward your face. This is Urdhva from here, go ahead and clasp opposite elbows. And you might have to bring your arms a little bit forward so that it's more like in your peripherals than way back here behind your ears, just to keep our spine neutral. Take a nice deep inhale here, and we're gonna twist to the right and exhale. Just moving from your waist, so your feet stay planted on the floor right where they were, Points, hip points are still pointing forward, and you're just twisting from your waist. Inhale back to center. And exhale, other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center, keeping your legs engaged. So quads still lifting up. Exhale, left. Inhale, back up through center. With releasing your arms back up overhead. And let's exhale, forward fold. Arms coming out to the side. Just resting them wherever you land, pausing here for a moment. 
since our first forward folds so might be a little tight and that's okay. Bring your weight a little more forward into the balls of your feet, bending your knees as much as you need to here. One more breath. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. So reaching forward out of the crown of your head and all four sides of your torso forward so that your spine is long. Broadening across your collarbone. And on your next exhale, forward fold. Flowing like that two more times. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, staying all the way up. Arms reach out and up. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to your side. Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Let's put our hands on our hips. Root down through your left foot. And inhale your right foot um, up off the ground so that your knee is in line with your hip. From here, we're going to internally rotate our, our thigh, or our leg. Um, so that your thigh bone is actually rotating in the hip socket and you're not lifting your hip up to make this motion happen. So you're just rotating your leg in a little bit, bringing it over to the midline, rotating it out, bringing it out to the side. Making a little figure eight with your knee. Keeping it at a hip height. And again, this movement's coming from your uh, thigh bone in your hip socket, not from your hip moving up and down. Your hip might move a little bit, do like one more. Come back to neutral and sit it back down. Other side, so planting down through your right foot, lifting up on that right quadricep so that it has the same stance as when we were in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Hands on your hips, lifting your left leg up. So internally rotate your leg, bring it across the midline, externally rotate it, and bring it out to the side. Making a little figure eight. Knees staying right about hip height. And again, hips trying to stay in place. So the movement is coming from your thigh bone in your hip socket. Let's do one more. Bring it back to neutral and sit your leg back down. All right, this time rooting down through your left foot, inhaling your right foot up so that your knee is at hip height. We're going to externally rotate our leg and then cross your ankle over your left knee and sink your hips back. So we're in a standing figure four, kind of like a modified chair pose here. Breathing here, broadening across your collarbone, keeping your hands to your hips. You might feel a bit of a stretch through the outer right hip. Inhale, standing back up, neutrally rotating your leg and sitting it back down. Other side, rooting down through your right foot, lifting your left foot up to hip height, externally rotating your leg, crossing your left ankle over your right knee, exhale, hip sink back to a standing figure four, this modified chair position. Breathing here. Inhale, coming back up to stand, neutrally rotating your leg and sitting it back down. All right, let's go up to the top of our mat. So finding Tadasana here, again, feet parallel to each other, thighs lifted, tailbone lengthening down, broadening across our collarbone, standing up nice and tall. Inhale, arms out and up, Urdhva Hastasana. And exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, and step it back to downward facing dog. So from here, everybody peek up. Make sure that your hands are at least shoulder distance apart, maybe slightly further, and that your wrist creases are parallel or slightly turned out to the front edge of your mat. Outer upper arms, your triceps wrapping into your, towards your face, arms nice and long. Feet are parallel and hips distance apart. A little bend in your knees so that you can really lengthen your tailbone up and back behind you, like to where the wall and ceiling meet. Spines long, pressing down through the thumb mound of your hand that you're, you can lift up on your forearms, like lifting them away from the floor. One more breath here. 
the bottom of your exhale, look towards your hands and hinge forward to plank pose. So one long line from the crown of your head back to your heels. Um, if this is too much, you can place your knees down to the floor, but again, you want a long line from the crown of your head to your knees in that case. So hips are parallel to the floor, so they're not hiked up or sinking low. And again, you can think of lifting your hip points toward your low ribs. Inhale here, and exhale, lower your knees, just so that they hover about an inch off the floor. Exhale here, inhale, lifting them back up, plank pose. Exhale, lowering your knees. Inhale, lifting them back up. Inhale here, exhale, downward facing dog. Pausing here for about three breaths. Here, inhale forward plank pose. Your gaze should be about a foot or so in front of your hands and exhale hips up and back downward facing dog. Two more times inhale forward plank. Exhale hips up and back downward facing dog. Inhale forward plank. Exhale, hips up and back, downward dog. Inhale, plank and hold. Hinge your shoulders forward slightly of your fingertips and then exhale, lowering, nice and controlled, all the way down to the ground, keeping your outer upper arms wrapping in. Uncurl your toes, pressing the tops of your feet down into the floor, trying to see if you can get all 10 toes to touch the floor so that your pinky toe can touch too. Lengthening your tailbone down towards your heels, lifting your thighs up into your thigh bones, up towards the sky. Take a peek back at your wrists, make sure they're right underneath of your elbows. Exhale here and inhale, baby cobra. Just chest and shoulders lift, so your low ribs are staying on the floor here. And exhale, lower down, moving with our breath two more times. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Tucking your toes under, pressing down into the balls of your feet, lifting your thighs up into your thigh bone, lengthening your tailbone back. Exhale here, inhale, pressing up, plank pose. Coming up in one long line. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. One more breath. The bottom of your exhale, look towards your hands and walk your feet forward, forward fold at the front of your mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms out and up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Inhale, arms out and up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, stepping your feet back, right then left, plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga. Halfway or all the way down, you pick. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, hips up and back, Downward Facing Dog. Pausing for three breaths. Spines long, pressing down through your hands. The bottom of your exhale, look towards your hands, walk step, maybe float your feet up. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms out and up, Ardha Hastasana. Exhale, right back down, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, stepping your feet back left, then right, hinging forward slightly. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, hips up and back, Downward Facing Dog, pausing for three breaths. Exhale, look towards your hands, walk, step or float your feet up. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. 
exhale, fold. Inhale, arms out and up, Ardha Hastasana. And again, exhale, right back down, last time. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step or maybe float back, Chaturanga Lini with bent elbows. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, hips up and back, Downward Facing Dog. Pause. Breathing here, reconnecting to your breath. Inhale your right leg up and back, three-legged dog, just to hip height. So we're not taking it way up behind us, but our toe and knee are still pointing down towards the floor. Outer hips hugging in, inner thighs squeezing together. Still pressing down through your hands, triceps still wrapping in. Look forward toward your hands, step your right foot forward to the inside of your right thumb. Right heel toe, your right foot over to the midline, and spin your left heel down so that you're now lined up Heel straight back to your arch. That front knee is right over top of our ankle. Inhale up. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Arms out to a T, pressing down to the outer edge of that back foot. Inner thigh, that back inner thigh spins in. So your inner right knee is going to move towards the right so that you can see your big toe down to the inside of your front knee. You can gaze out over your right fingertips. Exhale here, inhale, straighten your uh, right leg and put your hands on those hip points that we talked about at the very beginning. We have a tendency here to letting that right hip drop closer to that right thigh bone, but we want to lift it up and see if we can keep our hip points uh, even with each other. Inhale here, exhale, back down. So we never want to force our hips anywhere because that could jeopardize our low back. But again, you can think of that lifting action away. Pressing down a little more into the heel of that front foot so we can engage our hamstrings. Exhale here, inhale, straightening that front leg. This time reaching our right fingers towards our right, letting our hip drop this time, kicking the left hip out to the side, coming into Trikonasana, triangle pose. That right hand can come to the inside or the outside of that right foot, whichever feels best for you. Or you can gently rest it on your shin. Still pressing down through our feet, still lifting up on our quadriceps. We want our low right ribs to be moving away from that hip point. So our torso is reaching forward evenly. Spine's long. Hugging that right outer hip under. You can look up at your left hand if that feels good on your neck. One more breath here. Exhale, look down towards your right hand. Inhale, warrior two. Pausing here for a breath. On your exhale, when milling your hands down to frame your left foot, or right foot, excuse me, stepping it back, downward facing dog. Three more breaths here. On your next inhale, lifting your uh, left leg up and back, three-legged dog. So again, just to hip height, we don't need to take it longer than that. Hugging our outer hips in, thinking of squeezing your thighs together, pressing down through your hands. Exhale, stepping your left foot to the inside of your left thumb. You can use your hand to help you get it there or take a couple extra steps, that's totally fine. We're gonna heel toe our left foot over to the midline, spin your right heel down so that you're lined up heel to arch, pressing down through the outer edge of that back foot, lifting up on your right quadricep. Inhale up, warrior two. Front knee over top of that front ankle, lifting up from that left inner thigh. So it's coming up and over your left leg. Inhale, straightening your left leg, thinking of lifting that left front hip point up and away from your thigh bone, and exhale, back into warrior two. Pausing here and breathe. Inhale, 
Inhale, press down through the foot of your right leg, straightening that knee. And exhale, left fingertips reaching over to the left, right hip goes out to the right. Coming into Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Again, hand can be to the inside or outside, or maybe gently resting on top. Still lifting up on our quads, hugging that outer hip under. Again, here you can think of your calf pushing forward into your shin bone. That's going to keep us from hyperextending that leg. One more breath. Exhale here, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, hands come down to frame that right foot, or left foot, excuse me, step it back, plank pose. I did the same thing on the other side. Inhale here, exhale, chaturanga, all the way down to the floor, nice and controlled, lowering all in one line. From here, let's straighten our arms, putting them back down by our sides. Again, Pressing the tops of our feet down to the floor, seeing again if you can touch all ten toes down to the floor. Lifting your quadriceps up into your thigh bones, lengthening your tailbone down. So your legs are engaged here, even though they're on the floor. Bring your palms to face in towards your hips. Exhale here. Inhale, chest, shoulders, head lift for half shell vasana. Breathing here. Back of your neck's long, so you're still gazing down towards the floor. Legs are still engaged. Exhale, lower down. Take a breath here. Exhale here, again engaging your legs and inhale, chest, shoulders, arms, head, lift. One more breath and exhale. Lower down. This next one, you can stay with that first option or you can lift everything this time. So exhale here and inhale, chest, head, shoulders, arms, maybe your legs all come up off the floor. Breathing here, reaching out from the crown of your head and back through your toes. Inner thighs reaching up towards the ceiling so that your knees and toes are pointing down towards the floor just like they did in our Three-legged dog. One more breath. And exhale, lower all the way down. Bring your hands, shoulder distance maybe slightly wider apart. Walk them back so that your wrists are right underneath of your elbows. Tucking your toes under, pressing down to the balls of your feet, lifting your thighs up, tailbone lengthening back. We're gonna come up in all one long line into plank pose. Exhale here, inhale, Plank, nice and strong. Taking a breath here. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Little bend in your knees. Lengthen your tailbone up and back. This time, inhale. Right leg up and back. Three legged dog. And right away, exhale. Step it forward to the inside of your right thumb. This time we're going to set our left knee gently down to the floor and uncurl your left toe so that the top of your foot is down to the floor. Take a peek, make sure that your ankle is right underneath of your knee and that it's not going back or forward. Hugging your outer hips in, really lengthening your tailbone down so we can feel a bit of a stretch here through our um, hip flexor. Allow your hips to gently move forward. Inhale, arms forward and up, low lunge. Think of your, your thighs squeezing together here so that your legs are engaged. Now, if this doesn't cause any tension in your shoulders or your neck, you can gently bring your hands together, maybe crossing your fingers so your index fingers are pointing, and then bring your gaze up towards your thumbs. Lifting up from your sternum. Tailbone still lengthening down, so we're not overarching our low back. Outer upper arms wrapping in. And exhale, hands come down to frame our right foot. 
Inhale here and exhale. Slowly begin to move your hips back, walking your hands back and straightening the knee of that right leg. Right toes come off the floor. Hips reaching back. You might be feeling a bit of a stretch through your right hamstrings, the back of that uh, right leg. But still thinking of like corn cob borders or something on the outsides of your hips, hugging them in together. One more breath here. Walking your hands forward, curling your left toes under, lifting your left foot up off the floor, stepping your right foot back, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, left leg lifts up to hip height, right away, exhale, stepping it through the inside of your left thumb. Gently setting your right knee down and curling your right toes. Again, making sure that your ankle is right below your knee. Outer hips coming in. Think of your thighs pulling together. Gently allowing your hips to move forward. Maybe feeling a bit of a stretch through your right hip flexor. Exhale here. Inhale arms forward and up. Low lunge. Really thinking of your hip points lifting up. Again, so we're not overarching and jeopardizing our low back. You can exhale, bringing your palms together. Again, making sure this doesn't cause any sort of stress in your shoulders and your neck. Maybe gazing up towards your fingers. You get a little back bend here, but lifting up through your sternum so that the little back bend is coming from your thoracic spine, not your low back. And now just bringing our head, our neck back either. Exhale, hands come down to frame the left foot. Gently shifting our weight backwards, walking your hands back, shifting your hips backwards, lifting your left toes up. But still keeping our thighs engaged here, so your quadriceps are still lifting up towards your hips. Feeling a little stretch here through the back of that left leg. You might, you might not. I do, I think a lot of people do, but you know, different bodies are different. You might not feel it. One more breath here. Walking your hands forward, back into your low lunge, curling your right toes under, lifting your right hip up, planting your hands down, shoulder distance apart, and stepping your left foot back for downward facing dog. The bottom of your exhale, look towards your hands, walk, step, or float your feet up. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms forward and up. Ardha Sasana. Exhale, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Taking a second to adjust. Coming back to Shadasana. Maybe close your eyes here for a moment. Inhale, arms forward and up, or Bahasasana. And exhale, hips sink back, Ukitasana chair pose. So feet should still be parallel to each other. Knee is pointing right out over our second toe so that they're not collapsing in towards each other. Outer hips really hugging in here, lifting your front hip points up so that your spine is long. One more breath. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Stepping your left foot back to the back of your mat. So you're in a low lunge. Feet are hips distance apart here. So they're just spread out. Um, but there's space between them. So they're not one in front of the other. Outer hips hugging in. Pressing down through the heel of that front foot. Inhale, arms forward and up. High lunge, Anjani Asana. Making sure your tailbone's lengthening down here. A little bend in that back knee. Again, for the safety of our low back. Exhale here, 
inhale, straightening both legs. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Pausing here. One more breath. Exhale, hands come down to frame your right foot. Step it back for a three-legged dog. So right foot goes up to hip height behind you. Exhale, bringing your knee to your nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Again, exhale, hinging forward, knee to nose. Exhale, three-legged dog, or inhale, excuse me. Exhale. Inhale. Pausing. Exhale, lower your right foot down to meet the left. Opposite side, inhale, left leg up back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend and hold. Exhale, stepping your left foot into the inside of your left thumb. So we're in a low lunge. Pausing here before we come up, making sure your feet are hips distance apart. Outer hips hugging in. Inhale, arms forward and up. High lunge. A little bend in that back knee, lifting your front hip points up towards your low ribs. Breathing here. Arms straight. Maybe a little forward of your ears. Inhale, straighten both legs. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. And pause. One more breath. Exhale, hands come down to frame your left foot. Stepping your right foot forward to meet the left. Forward fold at the front of your mat. Inhale, Ardha Utanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms forward into Utkatasana chair pose. Hips sink back. Breathing here, spine's long. Maybe sinking back a little further. And exhale, forward fold. This time stepping your left foot back, but only about maybe three feet, or just far enough that you can still get that heel down to the floor. Your left toes are gonna to be pointing out towards the top left of your mat. From here, let's place your hands to your hips. Outer hips hugging in, you can have a little bend in this front knee. And inhale, come up to stand. So feet again, hips distance apart, but spread out. Pressing down through the outer edge of that back foot, just like we did uh, in warrior two pose. Lifting your quads up to your hips. Hands on your hips. Inhale, standing up nice and tall. Exhale, hinging forward from your hips. Spine's long. Rib cage reaching forward towards the front of the room, or the front of your mat, rather. Pressing down through the big toe mount of your right foot, gently pulling back on that right hip crease. Outer hips really have to hug in here. And then exhale, bending your knees as much as you need to to bring your hands back down to the floor so you can bring your left foot back up to meet your right. Other side, we're gonna step our right foot back about three feet or so, just so that you can get your full foot down on the floor. Pressing through the outer edge of that right foot, bending this left knee as much as you need to at this point so that you can be stable here. 
toes pointing out toward the top of your mat, bringing your hands to your hips, coming up to stand. From here, pressing down through all four corners of your feet, lifting up on your quadriceps. Stand up nice and tall, exhale, hinging forward from your hips. Legs are engaged here to help protect the stretch. Pressing down through the big toe mount of that left foot as you gently pull back that left hip crease. Spine's long. Breathing here. One more breath. Exhale, bending your front knee as much as you need to. To bring your hands back down to the floor and step your back foot up. Forward fold. Go ahead, walk your feet out to about max distance apart and grab opposite elbows. Weight a little more into the balls of your feet here so that your outer hips are over top of your ankles. And gently rock from side to side. Inhale your right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward between your hands. So bring it right to the inside of your right thumb. We're going to set our left knee down to the floor, uncurling your left toes, and walking your hands back to that uh, sometimes called half pyramid, or Arda Hanuman half split. So you can stay right here if you're feeling that stretch here and it feels right for you. Otherwise, I encourage you to slowly make your way into Hanuman or split. So from here, you want to slowly, and depending on how sticky your mat is, it might be a little more difficult, but slowly begin to work that right heel forward. And then your left leg back. Pausing for a moment. Breathing. If you have blocks at home, this would be a good place to have blocks under your hands. Or if you get to a point where you're feeling the stretch and you're comfortable, you can place a block under your hip. But again, just slowly working your legs forward and back. Keeping your quadriceps really engaged so we're not overstretching our hamstrings. You want to make sure that your legs are coming right out from your hip points and not going out to the sides. So you're sitting right up over the center and not leaning to one side or the other. Really breathing here. Wherever you are, one more breath. And then again, very slowly and carefully Begin to work your back leg in again, your right foot back. Again, if you have a really sticky mat like mine, your mat might come with you. Coming back into that half split, half on a Walking your hands forward again, bending your right knee, uncurling your back foot, back leg, stepping it back, downward facing dog.
other side, left foot steps forward to the inside of your left thumb. Setting your right knee down to the floor, uncurling your right toes. Begin to gently walk your hands back, straightening your left leg so your hips are right over top of that right knee. You can stay right here, keeping your outer hips hugging in, keeping your thighs lifted. You feel that nice stretch through the back of that left foot. Or when you're ready, you can begin to walk your left foot forward and your right foot back, your right leg rather, any amount. So don't overdo it. Make sure you're keeping your thighs engaged and listening to your body, stopping when you feel the right amount of, of stretch. Keeping your quadriceps engaged, keeping your outer hips hugging in, staying right over top of the midline, not letting our hips fall out to one side or the other. So your left leg's coming right out from your left hip, right leg coming right out from the right. Breathing here. slowly making your way back out of it. So curling your back toes under, helping that back knee walk in, and then slowly bringing your left foot forward again, adjusting your mat as needed. Come back into your Urda Hanuman. Walking your hands forward to frame that left foot, uncurling your right toes, step it back, Downward facing dog. Again, stepping your right foot forward to the inside of your right thumb. We're going to heel toe our right foot over behind our left wrist, bringing your knee down behind your right wrist. Again, keeping your hips over the midline and then sort of walking that left foot back. Again, coming right out from your hip socket, not going out to the side or in towards the center. Lengthening your tailbone down, lifting your hip points up. This pigeon. This is a counter pose to what we just did. So throughout most of our practice, except for a little bit at the very beginning, our legs have been in a neutral position. So the high lunges, the low lunge, pyramid pose, um, hips are neutral. So this one, your front hip is externally rotated. Um, just to counter all the neutrally rotated things we did. One more breath here. Exhale, hands coming down underneath your shoulders. Curling your left toes under, lifting your left knee up, pressing through your hands, stepping your right foot back, downward facing dog. Other side, left foot steps to the inside of that left thumb. Heel toeing your left foot over behind the right wrist, setting your left knee down behind your left wrist. Setting your right knee down behind you, uncurling your toes so that your leg is coming right out from your hip socket. Now this left foot can come as close to this right hip as it needs to. It doesn't have to be like parallel. But you want to keep your hips lifting up. And again, that's to protect our low back. Breathing here. releasing your hands back down to the floor right underneath of your shoulders curling your right toes under lifting your right leg stepping your left foot back downward facing dog exhale gently bring your knees down to the floor to about a uh, mat's distance and then allow your hips to come back 
to your heels, child's pose. Exhale here, gently sit up. Swing your legs out to one side. Making sure there's enough room behind you on your mat. Uh, go ahead and come on down to your back. Uh, bring your arms out to like a cactus shape and inhale your knees or your feet up to about knee height. Um, so that you're making like a 90 degree angle here, so that your knees are right over top of your hips. Inhale here and exhale, gently allow your knees to fall over to the left. Trying to keep your right shoulder blade down to the floor, keeping your hips stacked over top of each other. Breathing here, doing a little spinal twist. your knees back up through center and exhale allow them to come over to the right again stacking your hips one on top of the other keeping your left shoulder grounded your knees back up through center, hugging your knees into your chest, Pravanasana, gently rocking from side to side, but keeping your sacrum, your low back, down to the floor. Bringing your knees in towards like your armpits, reaching out for the outer edges of your feet for happy baby. Again, keeping your low back down to the floor. If reaching for your feet is too much, you can uh, hold the backs of your thighs as well. You can gently rock from side to side here. One more breath. And then slowly release your legs back down to the floor and make your way into Shavasana, final relaxation pose. So your knees can be bent, feet flat to the floor, or if it doesn't cause any tension in your low back, you can extend your legs down your mat, arms to your side or resting on your uh, belly, whatever is more comfortable for you. But find a position where you can really get out all your last minute fidgets. And take a few minutes to be still. You can stay here in Shavasana as long as you'd like. And when you're ready, bring your awareness back to your breath. 
your mic movement back into your body, wiggling your fingers and your toes. Slowly roll over to one side and pause there for a moment. Exhale here and inhale, press yourself back up to a comfortable seated position. Sitting up nice and tall. Exhale here, inhale, arms reach out and up. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Namaste. Thank you again for joining me for our yoga practice today. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, my name is Joella with the OBC Rec. Have a great day.